Welcome to this month's basic training video. This month's MBT will focus on vehicle stabilization using the tieback technique. Though there are many ways to perform a tieback, today we'll focus on two of the more common methods used. As always, familiarization with your apparatus is crucial to successful operations. Rescue trucks, rescue engines, and heavy rescue squads are often set up and laid out differently from one another. Knowing your equipment inside and out and where it's located on your rig enhances unit capabilities and overall team efficiency. When arriving on scene, consider the position of your apparatus to provide the best possible anchor point for a tieback evolution and to allow easy access for the stabilization equipment. Remember, scene safety is paramount. Be cautious for utility and power lines, fuel leaks or spills, and any other hazards that could compromise the rescue operation. Position the apparatus on the scene accordingly. The first step of any tieback stabilization is to gather the equipment that will be needed. To complete a tieback, you will need the following. Cribbing, wedges or step chocks, struts, straps, toe strap or sling, two ratchet straps with J-hook clusters, and an anchor point to secure the tieback. After managing scene safety, the next priority is to complete basic stabilization, utilizing cribbing such as step chocks or wedges. This basic stabilization equipment can be found on all engines, trucks, and rescue squads. When basic stabilization is complete, the crew will now prepare the struts for placement on the vehicle. The crew now scans the vehicle to find appropriate structural components for strut placement. With the struts assembled, they're placed on the vehicle and secured at the base to a solid anchor point on the vehicle. When placing the struts, make sure the tip of the strut is engaged on a structural member of the vehicle. Multiple sizes and shapes allow for good purchase. Depending on the vehicle type, the frame or unibody subframe usually make good solid anchor points. Suspension components, wheels, exhaust systems, soft metals and plastics are really not good anchor points for strut placement. These components should be avoided. The crew should make every effort to place the struts at a 45 to 60 degree angle in relation to the vehicle. The base of the strut can now be secured to the vehicle using a ratchet strap. When placing the ratchet strap, be sure not to over tighten. Firm tension is the goal here. The ratchet strap anchor must remain between 0 and 15 degrees in relation to the base. If this isn't possible, it will need to be secured at two points. With the struts in place and secured, we're now ready to complete the tieback and fully secure the vehicle. There are many methods that can be used to complete the tieback. Today, we'll look at two of those methods, one using ratchet straps and the other using a come-along. Whichever method is used, the crew must make every effort to locate or build an anchor point in line with the struts. This will allow for the system to be loaded properly for the safety of the occupant and the crew. Ratchet Straps when utilizing ratchet straps, you'll need the following items at a minimum. Two ratchet straps with J-hook clusters, a toe strap or sling, and an anchor point to secure the tieback. With the ratchet straps, you can utilize the J-hook or one of the other toe keys to fasten it to the vehicle. Be mindful to place the straps in close proximity to the struts. Once the straps are secured to the vehicle, the free ends are gathered together and connected to the anchor. Once all ratchets and straps are in place, the crew members can now tighten the straps. 
It's important to remember that all the slack must be pulled through the ratchet before it's tightened. When loading the struts with the ratchets, be cautious not to over tighten the tieback. Come along. The second tieback method we'll take a look at uses a come along. When utilizing the come along method, you'll need the following items at a minimum two chains that are a minimum of 10 feet in length, a toe strap or sling, a come along, a master link, and an anchor point to secure the tieback. Once the chains are secured to the vehicle, they can be brought back and connected to the come along which will be connected to the anchor via the master link. When tensioning the tieback with the come along, be cautious not to overload the struts. The come along provides a significant amount of mechanical advantage, which can allow you to lift or move the vehicle. Once the incident is complete, carefully release the tieback. The struts can then be removed from the vehicle, reversing the order from setup. Always be cautious when removing the tieback and the struts, as the vehicle weight may have shifted due to the tieback itself or from the extrication activity. This concludes our basic tieback demonstration. Thanks for joining us today for this month's MBT video. The tieback is an infrequent but basic skill for a rescue scene. Having all personnel familiar and proficient in its implementation allows for quicker patient access and faster extrication while maintaining safety throughout. For those companies without an extrication piece at your station, why not use this month's MBT to engage your neighboring special services? Learn their inventory, their capabilities, and their limitations, and how to assist each other on more complex incidents. You'll be glad you did.